What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be pulling shards we've got 140 of these bad boys to pull and for the uh summon rush you only need to do 150 uh ancient shards to get those champion fragments i did some maths i actually did some maths offline so that's what we're going for i don't know if i'm gonna pull all 140 might do 100 and then mystery shards We'll sort of see how we go. Um, so with this one, Pythion has to be the number one choice. He is insane. God tier for arena cleanses. Um, an AoE revive with that turn meter boost is insane. Also pretty solid for Hydra as well. Um, next, I'd probably say Elva would be my next choice. Again, cleanses. Great for Hydra. Great for arena. Great for just dungeons in general. And also throws out that continuous heal as well. Uh, and Cora would probably be my next option. She's very, very good for Arena if you've got Narcissus. Otherwise, I feel like she's a bit lackluster. She is kind of good, but not crazy insane good. Um, Kaja, not interested in. And Molly. Molly is very, very good for Hydra, but everyone can buy her. Um, let's just have a quick look. You can buy her guardian's ring yeah as a token trader so you can actually buy a copy of molly and i did that so you got five trashy legendaries and you've got their duplicate copies throw them in the bin get yourself a molly it is a very good thing to do um but yeah it's gonna happy python and ugo obviously an obvious choice ugo is god tier for hydra so definitely picking up more copies of ugo so Let's go for it, boys. And I'm wearing my very lucky brand new Street Fighter t-shirt. Just kind of wanted to show it off because it's the fucking dog's bollocks. Uh, but yeah, so let's go. We've got 100 to 140 shards to go. Hoping for some gold today. And even some nice epics would be pretty good as well. You know, empowering epics now it's a thing we want to be on top of that especially if it's someone that's pretty solid and wow it feels so weird like pulling outside of a 2x for ancients the rare tax is unreal so again nothing but blue and even some copies of ugo would be nice and oh fumble and edna moonbeam never used either of them i would say probably pretty average um state of the game at the moment you know it is all about legendaries at end game now or even mythicals even legendaries don't cut it no more so yeah pretty sad state of affairs um but yeah hopefully we can get some gold today snorting thug pretty solid um brings a drop down defense hp champion i believe uh mordecai brings aoe hp and lock one uh, again just sitting in the vault not doing very much and we are just in blue city bushy uh yeah bushy never had to use him i'm sure you pick up way better epics than him uh, Garrett the Stone, big fan actually. Single target, hits really, really hard. Quite like him. Uh, the Bears, they're awful. They are both pretty awful. And not, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, yay, it's an Elva, um, but it's not the legendary that we're after. I guess she is in the 10 pool, so kind of makes sense. But it's my third Elva bottom. Elva Autumn Bomb. Autumn Born. Um, it's my third. I've got two. One in Stone Skin and one in Regeneration Set. I don't feel like I need a third one. So that's that sucks. It really, really sucks. But we did get a copy of Ugo, which is nice. You know, looking up to power up my girl for the Hydra. 
let's see if we can hit any more gold. No, so I feel like I'm going to leave it there, guys. I just can't see myself um, needing to pull any more than that. So, yeah, and to be fair, it's a lot easier now to just sort of, you know, burn through uh, shards. So, yeah, definitely do that. But um, I'll show you guys my Elva builds. So, first Elva, probably this one is actually my favorite one. Uh, regeneration with a protection set. Um, it is difficult, though. Need, need some more protection gear on her to try and bump her up a little bit oh i can't we're maxed to the protection so yeah so it's not the best to be honest but she does kind of need regen gear for what i'm using her for um if i could get her a nine piece protection that would be great and actually i probably can do that now um, it's been a long time since i've rebuilt her but um, regen is great on elva like so good um show you the mastery she has very specific masteries um Timely intervention, it makes sense on her. It makes sense on her. It means you can just cycle through your abilities a lot faster. But yeah, she's got a very, very unique build going on. All about trying to just boost her turn meter. Uh, we want to build her really, really fast, as fast as possible. So 300 speed, probably even 350 would be even better. Um, but yeah, very, very stat hungry. We want resistance, we want defense, we want HP. Um and let's have a look at the the stone skin build. So stone skin build nowhere near on the same kind of level. Again, I definitely need to. She just needs so much resistance. She needs way more speed. Um, could definitely lose some HP and just try and keep that defense up. But it is hard. It is hard. I guess you know could definitely awaken some gear. Oh, and terrible rolls. Flat attack. Flat defense. Nobody wants to see that. And uh, yeah, I went for slightly different masteries for this one. So going for Unshakable. Um, if you want to go for high resistance, it's a must. Otherwise, timely intervention. But yeah, Elva, massive fan. She's a hard carry, great champion. But three copies. Oh, it's painful, guys. It's painful. Well, I hope you guys have way better luck than me. Um, yeah, I still think Elva is like a top tier legendary champion. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.